Guys, please take your beautiful fingers to leave a mark in the comment section with your prediction of what is actually going to happen in 2024 because just one hour ago Wargaming released a video together with the article called Roadmap Sneak Peek Hashtag 4 Interactive Environment, New Tech Tree Lines and more and uh, today guys, uh, together with uh, you, let's uh, have a little movie time because you know those videos are usually uh, pretty big information packed and uh, they show new mechanics um, in uh, those type of videos. Uh, so we have quite a lot of uh, topics as you can see, vehicle rebalancing, crew achievements, vote plus, battle pass, recon, random events. Uh, let's have a look what they have to offer and... Uh, you know, you can make your predictions in the Michael, comment section, guys. Welcome to the first roadmap highlights of 2024. Today's video will Hello, cover a lot of content that we are planning to release over the next 12 months. We will add more next generation maps to the game. We are also planning to improve all our game modes. We are working on a lot of new tanks that will see daylight within this year. We are also planning to. Those were the Polish uh, uh, tank destroyers, right? Rebalance a lot of our vehicles multiple times this year. At the same time, we know how important the crew is to you. We already revealed some of our work last year. This year, we are keeping improving the system and release more content to this in this episode and some upcoming. The new achievement feature is on its way and Alex will share some more details later in the video. We are also having a new strategy for our battle pass in 2024. Something really, really interesting is coming our way in March. Please stay until the end of the video. I will give you some more context here. Now, Alex will take it from here and enjoy the show. All right, seems to be really hypey, really interesting. New stuff and old stuff revamped. Hello, I'm glad we're together again. 2023 saw the introduction of the first random events, such as Zeppelin and Train on Himmelsdorf. Mm -hmm. They made the game even more spectacular and added depth to the gameplay. And judging by your comments, you enjoyed them. That's why. Uh, actually, I want to ask uh, from you as well. What do you think about random events uh, now after they have been in the game for like a couple months now? Um, me personally, I really like the Runeberg random event, which opens up the um, the city blocks over there a bit more because. Um, you know, many times it has saved extremely campy game and has turned it into way more action-backed. Uh, but uh, what is your take on it? Why the list of random events will be significantly expanded this year. We plan to add new scenarios for six maps. Cliff, Karelia, Pilsen, Redshire, Siegfried Line and Malinovka. Uh -huh. For example, on Siegfried Line, planes will <coughs> bomb the town. This will affect the overall state of cover. On Malinovka, a plane crashes into the hill, hitting the windmill and creating new defensive and offensive opportunities. So As many bad so pilots. Far, events will have an impact on battle conditions and create new tactical opportunities, even on maps you've learned like the back of your hand. Okay, so uh, on uh, Siegfried Line, Prokhorovka, we already have Prokhorovka actually, Malinovka, and what else? Uh, ah, Karelia as well. All right. Recon missions continue the idea of random events, making the game environment more interactive. We don't just want to test maps, but also the way players interact with them. The interactive environment in Recon Mission launches will allow players to interact with various elements of the map more actively. You'll be able to affect game objects more and adapt the environment to your liking. This is what they did at the end of the year as well, actually, in their quick, like, what was that, two-minute video or something. I really, I'm actually looking forward to this. You can, uh, like, the, you know, the gas tank, you can blow up, and uh, if you drive into it, you take damage. You know, just a different layer of gameplay. I would like to test it out, at least. In 2024, you can expect continuous development to your beloved arcade cabinet. 
there'll be familiar night battles with modified view range and concealment parameters. You can count on experiencing an overwhelming display of fire featuring the excitement and chaos of multi-barrel and salvo firing tanks in aptly named overwhelming fire. Additionally, you can look forward to more lighthearted festive fun in the winter arcade at the end of the year. Of course, there will be new things you haven't seen before. We're currently researching different approaches to map design to make something very unusual and very arcade-like. We believe this work will allow us to bring you a fun game experience and see... Now this one I am looking forward to boast. This is basically like um, a Fall Guys in World of Tanks. This could be hell of a fun event, guys. It could be, but, you know, let's give it a the benefit of doubt, right? I'm not going to get myself hyped up too much, but uh, I see this being uh, see, very potentially in fun. A new light. Many people enjoy farming Frontline. in Frontline, and so do I. Now we've made it even more interesting with the dynamic scenario system. Each scenario has a set of rules that can change the course of the battle. One of the three scenarios is assigned at the start of the battle. All this is already live, right? Right now, I mean today. Way. Standard battle means the usual frontline rules, where combat reserves have their standard cooldown time. The operational support scenario accelerates the cooldown time for all combat reserves. This means more dynamic battles and more abilities being used. Finally, the Twist of Fate scenario allows you to pick one of two random reserves when you reach certain ranks. It adds an element of surprise and lets you create unexpected reserve combinations. We hope the scenario system adds some zest to every battle you play. Modes and events are just part of this year's content, but that's not all. Two new Tech Tree branches are coming soon. Polish tank destroyers for close combat and Czechoslovakian light tanks with auto cannons. Those light tanks with auto cannons, uh, so many people are more excited about those. But uh, the Polish tank destroyers with the damage depending on the distance is also kind of meme. Polish tank destroyers not only share a visual and tactical resemblance to the Object 268 branch, but also embody the delicate balance between armor and mobility, coupled with formidable firepower. However, so six some distinctive features set them apart, such as a novel mechanic. The deep rifling of their guns is tailored for a specific shell type. The closer you are to the enemy, the higher the damage. At a distance of up to 50 meters, the gun will cause maximum damage. As the distance increases, the damage progressively diminishes. While these new tank destroyers may lack effectiveness in long-range engagements, they become truly devastating in close combat. The branch begins with the 25 TP and includes six vehicles that gradually unveil the unique attributes and strengths of the new assault vehicles. So, uh, if you want to get the head start, guys, I recommend uh, collecting some XP with 25 DP. I'd love to tell you more about Czechoslovakian light tanks, but they're currently under active development. All I can say is that they will be armed with guns with an automatic firing mode. They should definitely offer something unusual. Like overwhelming fire tanks, right? Some tanks have been in the game for many years, and we haven't forgotten about them. The balance department is constantly working to improve the game's quality. And they have two rebalances for you this year. Now we can tell you about the first one, which is coming this spring. The upcoming rebalance will bring changes to four Tier 10 vehicles and their branches. It's gone. The Super Conqueror has been highly effective and hard to counter for a long time. We will keep its strengths, though planned changes will make it easier to play against. The Contra Caro 3... Are they going to nerf the turret armor? 3 Minotauro is as difficult to crack when it's hull down. This too will see changes to its armor to make it easier to counter in such situations. The Pants... So that was... 330 heat, 
330 is the heat on uh, Gorilla 15, right? Around 330-ish. And that penned the face of the turret. Just to its armor to make it easier to counter in such situations. Yep. The Panzerkampfwagen hmm. 7 has been clearly outmatched by many of its heavy counterparts. It'll receive a noticeable improvement to its characteristics and become a tank for all, and not just with a niche appeal. Now, this is one of those tanks which, um, when you buff it, you have to know exactly what you're doing. Because it can so easily become very strong. Right now, you know, yes, it is a super heavy that can uh, get penetrated into the bloody gun mantlet uh, or into the gun by uh, tier 8 tanks, you know, sometimes. And it just doesn't fit the tank, but it is so easy to overbuff it. I remain Flash skeptical. It has very high firepower potential, but it rarely manages to fully realize it. The changes should allow this vehicle to truly shine. So they buff the gun handling on Fosh B. Hot damn. Right? Let me see. Still six shells, right? Then 400 alpha seems like. So gun handling, I guess, will be back. The game experience is being improved both in battle and in the garage. That's why we are preparing several updates to crew. The perk system will be changed later in this year, but improvements to all-round comfort are coming very soon. You will no longer have to increase the major qualification level of your crews. It will be replaced by crew efficiency bonus, which will show the effect of things like brothers in arms or ventilation. You will be able to move any crew in a suitable tank, immediately unleashing the full potential of its characteristics. When reassigning a crew without retraining, you won't get a penalty to vehicle dynamic characteristics. Instead, crew perks will be blocked. After retraining for free or for credits, perks will work but with reduced efficiency until the crew receives enough XP in its new vehicle. This system is much simpler and more player friendly. Another long-awaited event coming up is the barracks cleanup. All crew members that don't have enough XP to train their first perk to 100% will be removed from the barracks and compensated for with crew books. These will contain as much XP as the converted tankers had. And don't worry about special crew members like celebrities. You will keep them. All right, so crew specialization or efficiency over here so once again step by step they're not introducing any new skills yet guys they are just uh, step by step uh, uh, trying to you know air quotes improve uh, the uh, crew system we have um, right now you know this new system has i would say more positive things uh, like i'm not talking about this one what they're uh, think about doing right now but what we have in the game <coughs> i have uh, you know be getting used to it and I like it more than I uh, did like it previously. It's easier to uh, to move uh, uh, crew members from one tank to another, uh, but uh, it still needs uh, some fine tuning. Uh, like uh, let's say um, I would like to move my forward to use crew into guard, which is you know the same uh, nation, same vehicle class, premium medium tank, and if I pick forward to use commander. Uh, into the guard, then I want to pick the driver, the gunner and loader as well, but those things, uh, those guys are still all across the barracks and I need to search for them, like uh, it should um, short all the other crew members by the commander. Uh, you already have in the vehicles uh, in the vehicle and you know we when you have for use commander inside um, the guard uh, the first loader that you offer if you click this button right over here you know you're in the guard you click this button uh, to select um, your uh, gunner right the for use crew member should be in the top left as the first guy because you already have for reduce commander in the game not uh, looking it uh, around the barracks once again right uh, so uh, crew overall uh, what do you think about this um, 
I grew specialization. Well, like, I would say overall, how much is going to change? Percent. Not will much, be removed right? From the but this, I really do like that, the, the uh, Parax cleanup over here. Um, you have so many, like if you have played this game for a couple of years, let's say. If you're a new player, of course, it is not going to affect you that much. But if you are older player, uh, played this game for a couple of years, you definitely have a lot of crew members uh, uh, that's, uh, that are completely useless in the barracks and just uh, they crew them over there. So this cleanup over here is just, barracks you know, for me, it is good, positive. Crew books. These will contain, we'll keep them. Right. Okay, new achievements. A lot of content has appeared in the game over the years and it's not always clear what you've achieved and what you still have to aim for. The new achievement system will help you with that. Eventually, it will cover many aspects of the game, but at first it will focus on the most important one, the vehicles. This new achievement system will be of great help to tankers, both seasoned and new. Initially, there will be several sections. The first will be a record of all your researched vehicles of different types, including rare tanks. The second will show your progress towards researching vehicles in different nations. The th third will keep a record of all the customization elements you have received and can receive. There will also be a list of in-game trophies you've earned during unique game events. Achievement hunting is fun, but it's even better when you get a reward for it. For some achievements, you'll get valuable items, such as rare dog tags. Each achievement point adds to your progress. This will... I've, I wouldn't call rare dog tag, like, uh, very... How did you say that? And hunting is fun, but it's even better when you get a reward for it. Yes. For some achievements, you'll get valuable items. Valuable items. Like, there is absolutely no value receiving a rare dog tag. You give me credits. You give me, I don't know, a premium day. Now we are talking a dog tag, valuable item. <laughs> How many of you even have dog tags turned on, for example? Such as rare dog tags. <coughs> Each achievement point adds to your progress. This will help. This is like nice, you know, this is nice once again, but um, <coughs> just to have a number, like I want, I don't know, like I'm a greedy. I would like to have, I would like to get something extra. Like, let's say I'm not talking about credits or gold over here or premium days. Maybe if I uh, receive like uh, three star trophies over here or whatever, camo will be unlocked, like a special customization item will be unlocked. What uh, I can put on my vehicle and what others can see as well. You evaluate your overall success status and then compare it with your friends. All right, what plus? We've got more good news for you. A trial period will soon be available for what plus? You will be able to check out its advantages for free. Gold reserve, an additional map exclusion slot, free demounting of equipment, intensive crew regimen, and a TS-54 for rent. Hmm. So guys, now I want to talk a little bit about the battle pass. First news, it's gonna happen. We have actually three wonderful battle passes prepared for you for this year. First one is actually happening in March. I can't reveal right now what kind of collaboration we are working on, but it will be very, very interesting and I hope you guys will enjoy it. The next one will be in June, dedicated to D-Day, an 80th anniversary that's actually happening this year. So we will have a dedicated Battle Pass chapter as part of the history, uh, covering a lot of different beats uh, regarding the D-Day or Normandy campaign. Uh, and we have a last one towards the end of the year, which I can't tease too much of right now as well. But let me tell you that it's related to a very famous game mode and we have something really, really good cooking. So, thank you, and I hope you will enjoy it. Hmm. All right, Battle Pass. What do you think uh, those special Battle Passes are and collaborations are? There have been some uh, girls and Panzer tanks in the, uh, in the making for a very long time, like the VT-42, I think, and the, the Tiger. Um, like, that's, that was the first thing that came to my mind. But yeah, we'll see. Two new Tier 9 Special Vehicles will be available in the Battle Pass store. 
The TT-130M is a Czechoslovakian <coughs> ah. heavy tank with jet boosters. You'll be able to accumulate tokens for it, starting in the first season. And the new main annual reward, TS-60, is a turreted tank destroyer with high damage per minute. Start saving up for them in the upcoming season. Now, it will be even easier for everyone. Three tokens from the collections will be added to the free progression. One token for each chapter. Additionally, the prices of all vehicles will be systematized. Starting with the next season, you'll be able to earn battle pass points in the tier four and five vehicles. The store, That's good. in addition to crew members and 3D styles of the previous seasons, will feature 2D customization. Oh, cool. That's all for now. Thanks for staying with us. See you in the next episode of Roadmap Highlights. All right, thank you very much for your time. Ladies and gentlemen, finally we know what the Battle Pass vehicles are going to be. The Jet Booster, Tier 9 Jack, DT-130, and the uh, DS-60 as well. So this tank actually has been uh, under the Super Test for uh, a long time. I think the first time I featured it on the channel was over a year ago, maybe even over two years ago, something like that. But the DTS, oh, it's not DTS, sorry, the, the DT-130, that's, uh, uh, you know, a little bit more unique, maybe. This one as well, this looks like a heavy tank, but it is actually a rare turreted tank destroyer, American uh, tank destroyer. With high All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, quite a bit of things covered in this video. Let me know in the comment section what you think about all of that and uh, your predictions, uh, what uh, they are actually going to add in how and and uh, whatnot guys so yeah roadmap sneak peek let's stay tuned for the next one i hope you enjoyed and i get you next time with something else stay awesome stay beautiful take care and bye